Ladies and gentlemen, I will assist the Pacific Coast players now in presenting to you a classical musical piece based on your suggestion. <laughs> Opus 5, Giant Sport. No <laughs> <laughs> suggestion, please. Embarrassed. King? Relax. <laughs> Anger.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Woo. Woo. Great. You still have what it takes. You know, I think you should go for a comeback. Comeback? Don't make me laugh. You can do it, Dad. <sighs> yeah, just think of the, the feeling of being back in the spotlight again. All those adoring fans. All that money. And no more of those Vinnies to push you around. Gee, uh, I don't know. Besides, Mom said you were washed up and would always be a husband. She said that. Well, I'll show her who's washed up. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Avon. Well, I used to pull your pigtail and pinch your turn of nose. But you've been growing and maybe it's been showing from your head down to your toes. Little sister, don't you? Thank you. And cheers to you. My share of losing. My share.
share of losing. And uh, now, and now, and tears subside, I find, I find it all so amusing. To think I did all that, and, and may I say, not in a shy way. an adventure. What do the cards tell you? Your fate has now been sealed. You see, this is what you get when you hire a misfit charity case. Charity case? Lady, I'll have you know that before my husband ran out on me and our two kids, I was accustomed to the six-figure lifestyle. Do you know what you can do with your charity What case? is going on here? Hi! Robert Taylor, running for mayor of Pioneerville? Hi, what can I do for you? Hi, my name is Robert Taylor, and I'm running for mayor of Pioneerville. May I have a moment of your time, please? I don't think 30 is too young. Uh, what experience do you have in politics? I was high school class president. High school class president. Now, young fellow, let me, let me just tell you something. You're in a whole new ball game now. Son, you are now uh, in a, a, a different kind of a world. You know, there's one thing I want to tell you, and that's hardball. Excuse me. You smell something burning. Dang, dog, nabbit, I told him not to smoke inside the house. Excuse me for a minute. 
Larry, haven't I told you not to smoke inside? I'm sorry, Mr. Conway, but it's cold outside. Maybe you should have thought of that before you took up such a filthy, disgusting habit. Now get outside with that. You're sticking up the whole house. I'm sorry, Mr. Conway. Uh, disgusting habit. I won't have it in my house. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. So, uh, as I was saying, you know, uh, if you have any hope of wanting to win this election, you're going to need the right kind of backing. And I'm just a man that can get you that backing. I've been a lobbyist for the tobacco industry for 10 years. You can't lose with those boys on your side. That's nice. I mean, I'm flattered that you would offer such resources to my campaign. However, I have concerns about aligning myself with such a controversial group as the tobacco industry. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. I can't stand being around anybody that's smoking myself. It makes me ill. But by the same token, I gotta realize who's paying for the lifestyle that I enjoy. You better get with the program while the offer's still good. Well, it was nice meeting you. What's your answer, Robert? I'll think over what you said. Meantime, I'm getting the word out by going door to door in my community. Now, now, Well, uh, nothing like pressing the flesh, one neighbor at a time. You know, we back candidates everywhere, all the time. It's a Machiavellian world out there, we play to win. I'll think over what you said, Al. Nice meeting you, have a nice day. Good luck. Hello. Yeah, give me Ms. Krause down there at the Reno Daily Star. Looks like we're gonna have to go with plan B. Your fate has now been sealed. <laughs> has now been sealed. Robert, wake up. What? This class is here. Oh. Oh, you're here? Yes. Oh, boy. I, I must have fallen asleep. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh. You wouldn't believe the nightmare I just had. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I decided I'm not doing the interview. I'm here for you, and this is a grassroots campaign, and folks, I'm not doing any interviews.
Take him to the house and tie him up. Kill him now. Take him to the house and tie him up. We can't kill him here. You're going to regret it. Look, haven't I told you not to come to my house wearing a uniform? You'll draw on one of attention to me. I don't like my orders being disobeyed. Right, right. You get your bomb safely in place in D.C., and now I'm just some monkey you can order around, right? No, look. I know you've gone to great efforts to help the militia. Your efforts will be rewarded. We're in this together at all costs. Revolution. 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 Who are you? And, um, where am I? My name is Sylvia Tink. And you are back at Mr. Big's mansion. Yes. Now I recognize you. You're Mr. Biggs. Mistress? Kept woman? Is that what you were going to say? So, uh, why are they taking me here? They know who you are. They know why you're here. You're a bargaining chip, in case their plan fails. What is their plan? What do you know? The question is, what do you know? I do know you will probably be getting 10 to 20 years for being an accessory before the fact. I'll get right to the point. We have a major crisis on our hands. Less than 24 hours ago, our naval base in San Diego was infiltrated and robbed. We lost one Alpha-class chemical bomb. One sailor was murdered. Our only suspect is an AWOL sailor named Keel. Commander Case. The bomb that was stolen was being transferred from a Navy destroyer equipped with long-range guided cruise missiles outfitted to carry Alpha-class chemical devices. The bomb was on its way to be destroyed as part of the Chemical Weapons Ban Treaty. This bomb has a killing radius of three miles and a severe injury radius of five miles. Frankly speaking, gentlemen, the way this bomb injures, you'd be better off in the three-mile zone rather than the five. You'll never take me in, Hamilton. Keel! It's not worth it, Keel. You've got nothing to prove anymore. You'll never take me alive, Hamilton. I'm slipping! Help! I'm, sli I'm slipping! Oh! 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 oh. 
my god! Yes, and I'm looking forward to the encore. Sorry, no encore, just your grand finale. I should have known something was wrong. Your hand was sweaty. I trust an American thug on the run from the CIA. So far, our lives get this big talk. My record speaks for itself. Right now, as we are meeting, my compound in the Caribbean is planning to hold the CIA by the... Well, let's just say they'll comply with all my demands. You are a madman. Only a madman would tangle with the American CIA. I want no part of this syndicate. Well, if that's how you feel about us, there's nothing more for me to say. Except that we are all brothers in crime. Let us toast East West relations. Please, gentlemen. So 
Mr. Trotsky up. Hello. You speak English? I do. You come with a room? <laughs> How did you get in here anyway? Mm -hmm. A pass key? Staff is the laser disc to Mr. Big's Caribbean hideout. According to Gronin, who's been observing from the inside, Mr. Big plans to use the information on the disc to blackmail the U.S. government for $10 billion with total immunity from prosecution. Well, you have to admit, Mr. Big has tenacity. It's my next move. You leave for the Caribbean tonight. Here are your orders diplomatic pouch. You must take out Mr. Big's communication system on the island. It's heavily fortified. I wish you luck. It's better be important. I'm in the middle of a roadside conference. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, actually, you never guess who we just captured. I'm not in the mood for guessing games. Uh, Hamilton, Agent Hamilton, Persian Gulf War hero, CIA operative. Delicious. Put him on. It's for you. Hello? Hamilton, are you mad just because I tried to blow you and 600 school kids up? <laughs> you may have me, but I guarantee you, this base will be taken out with airstrikes. With a disc and a hostage, the government will lick my boots. Tell me, what's next on your agenda? You ever heard of the uh, California Napa wine country? I heard you just acquired a growing concern. Yeah, well, that's where my new uh, winery is. And now I have a government hostage, thanks to you. Oh, it's getting so stuffy in here. Now, where were we? Oh, golly. I've been set up. You mean we've been set up? Only one other person besides you, Tanya, knew what was on that laser disc. Felicia, you betrayed me. She betrayed us. Us. Admiral Stone to Eagle One. Commence attack. Commence attack. <laughs> Agent Hamilton.
Hamilton has forced the issue. My real name is Ms. Gronin. Agent Gronin, CIA. And you're both under arrest. The CIA doesn't have arresting authority. No, but the FBI does. And they'll be here any minute now. Mr. Big, your Caribbean base was just bombed. Oh, God! It's a trap. Seize them. No! Yet. I have friends in high places. Don't you mean low places? Don't tell me Mr. Big got away. He got away. Looks like your lover boy has left you high and... Don't even say it.